here in Woodbridge Township, a uh, big Central Conference football game. We have Cranford visiting Colonia. I'm joined by my councilmate and good friend, Mr. Kyle Anderson. I'm Greg Ficarra. Kyle, uh, we've had the the, uh, the privilege of seeing Cranford play against our Kennedy team. Yeah. So what's your, what's your look for tonight? Well, we knew from tackle to tackle they were about 6'2", 250. We saw that from the field. We could tell that they're a big line and that they could wear you down late in the game. Right. Uh, Colonia has a habit of jumping out early, which they did against uh, um Linden last week, right? And uh, but they let them back into the game, so you don't want to have that happen late in the game when you have a line that you're dealing with over at uh, Cranford. Absolutely, and and, and Cranford uh, gave Woodbridge Woodbridge ranked number one in the conference yeah. uh, all that they can handle. I think it was last week, and um, you know as you said, Colonia seemed to have a hard time putting Linden away last Linden week, and as we said, either Linden is better than their record appears, or Colonia just had a hard time, you know, sealing sealing the victory there. But we we got a gr great night for football. We're about to do the uh, national anthem, so stay tuned. We look forward to joining you for the game. Hey, good evening, everybody, and again, welcome to TV 35 Sports. We're about ready to get started with the uh, Big Central Conference football game, Cranford visiting here at Colonia. For me, uh, Greg Ficarra, I am a councilman in town and part-time sportscaster, and I have my good friend and councilmate, Mr. Kyle Anderson, both of us, both of us playing in high school at JFK. And both of us going down to Lion Country. For me, it was Trenton State. For you, it was the College of New Jersey. Welcome, Kyle. Well, it was still Trenton State when I got there. When I went back and coached, it was the College of New Jersey. But uh, we do have that lineage, and I'm always great. To, it's always great to be here with you, Greg, to watch one of our township teams play. Absolutely, and we got a wow, a traditional night of football tonight, right? The temperature dropped about 20 degrees. We were texting each other, joking about what we we're going to wear, and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and here we are. Had to go find the tights out and uh, get them on under the jeans. Yep, absolutely. Well, we talked a little bit about the game in the opening. Um, you and I had a chance to see Cranford play against Kennedy, and we were impressed. They were a solid unit, and uh, Colonia coming off a nice victory over Linden last week. Uh, Cranford handled Linden pretty easily uh, yeah. in their contest. So I know if you're a Home News and Tribune reader, uh, Colonia's got their work cut out for them tonight. But here we go. Let's find out as the opening kickoff is about to begin. All right. Try to get you some names out there. A little pooch kick right to number 22. We saw a lot of him against Kennedy. I'll get his name. Josh Oleremi on the tackle there. That's the quarterback. Nice job of wrapping up. That's interesting to, to have the quarterback on the kickoff team. So sometimes that tells you something about the depth. Yeah, yeah. Or, or coach's philosophy of just getting the best players on the field. Uh, Cloney pretty big up front, uh, if I, re I remember from last week. And, and as you stated in the opener, uh, Cranford has certainly got some people up there. Big yeah. boys. And uh, I saw 
Number 22, Marcus Johnson, was a name that we called a lot against Kennedy on that opening kickoff. Yep. We had number four on that tackle. That was Shane. Uh, no, that's uh, the other roster. That's Jake uh, uh, Siensen. There we go. Jake Siensen, the junior, 6'1", 189. I'm going to round him up to 190. So that looked like it was Luca Limbera uh, on a direct snap. Dennis Di Marino, number five. Uh, I'm sorry, that was Di Marino on the carry. I just I thought it was number six. It was number five. Dennis Di Marino, and I heard last week. Uh, I was just going to say that. There he goes. Di Marino's pretty nifty in there in the uh, in the spread formation. He does a little read option. He kept that one right up the middle and danced around and, and got the first down. Yep, I, I know last week in there, and running their hurry up offense, we saw a little bit of that against Kennedy. That tempo really can wear you down after a while, especially if you have a nice big line. Di Marino's looking for somebody to throw to. Doesn't find it. He gets sacked. Uh, that was uh, number four, Jake uh, uh, Siensen. Yep, he's in there again. He's been pretty active so far in the early going. Big number uh, 66. I got to flip the page here. 66. Jermaine Ellis was in on that one. Man, there's a football name for you. There it is. And there's Johnson around the end on the, uh, Ooh, nice Ooh, he pop. took a nice hit. There was nothing socially distant about that hit from Michael Testa. Yeah, absolutely. Johnson on the carry. Eight and nine on the play. It'll be second and five. Third and five. And a referee blows a whistle. I get some, something, piece looks, of equipment. Yeah, it looks like an equipment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let, well, let's have a, take a look at this hit. We have instant replay tonight. I think it was number one. Number 20, Michael Testa. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh, and number one. Yeah, yes. yeah. number one yeah. came in. Uh, yeah, Jerry came in. Charles. All right. Yep. Yeah, big hit. Don't want to take the credit away for that one. Yep. Counter, counter, come back. There's Di Marino. Gets tangled up close to the first down. So a host of uh, Colonial players. I saw number 10, Jaden Jones, in there. Jaden, just a freshman, is up uh, getting a lot of playing time for a young guy. He had a nice interception last week, Jaden. Yeah, I heard about that. Quarterback 46 is coming on. He's the heavy. It's going that way. It's going to 46. The coaches behind us are, are picking up at number 46 in the Kevin slot. Kevin Keogh. Yep, he's going in motion. And they're following. Uh, they went opposite. They went right up the middle. Yeah, he went in motion and went off tackle right. It's short. Mm. It might be short. Looks like it's close. Nope, they're moving the chain. That was Lamont Hampton on the carry for Cranford. And there, there's uh, Cranford ready to go, man. They're, they're ready to go. And you can see Colonia is prepared for that because they're, they're just as ready. Nothing fancy. That was number 14, Jake Chapman. Absolutely. Six foot two, 185 pounds, senior. Chapman again. Nice size running back. Man, these guys are fast. They don't mess around. No. Oh, very nicely thrown That pass. was a good thrown ball. I thought the um, corner had made a read on it. Uh, that was number three, um, Joshua Loremi, that made the tackle there. Joshua's been very active out there. Joshua's a 6'2", 180 junior. Wow, a number 46 for Cranford. Um, Kevin Kehoe, Kehoe, mm -hmm. six foot, 220. That's, ooh, there yeah. he goes in motion. That's a big fella right there. Yeah, you want to yeah. run behind him. And, yeah. Ooh, uh, number 14 gets gobbled up there. Who was that? Number 66. You just called his name a few minutes ago. Uh, Jermaine Ellis on that tackle. Nothing doing. We'd like to get you some replays, but with this hope and, uh, hurry up offense. Di Marino, it looks like he's uh, very close to a first down, but maybe short. Michael Testa, number 20, gave him a good pop, uh, but he, but Di Marino just bounced back and kept going. Michael Testa is 5'10", 160, and they're being generous a little bit with that with that size. He, but he's got a lot of heart. Yeah. I've, uh, 
All right, here we go. We're going to see this again. And it's going to be a quarterback draw. Steps back and then goes straight up the middle. Picks his way. There's that pop right. I was referring to. There it is. He yep. slowed him down. Yep. I'm going to yell at him because he didn't rap yep. like we taught him back when he played for me. There we go. So. Good job by the Patriots on defense. They sustained that hurry-up offense and a little rush, and let's see All if right. they can get some things going. And that was the challenge for Colonia um, against uh, Woodbridge, was getting their offense going. Yeah. Couple of names out there. I see big number 77, Steve Miller. Steve Miller at 6'7", 315 is the real deal. That is a... Uh, Instant recruitable size there. Nowhere for Olaremi. Looked like they were just running some kind of a read option there. He had nowhere to go. Uh, I see uh, number 62, Massimino Ravezzo, uh, Jr., six foot 220. Okay. Trying to get some numbers out there. I see 66, Jermaine Ellis we talked about. 62, you got Massimino? Yeah, yeah, Massimino. Okay. Massimino. Oh, fumble. A little fumble. Look, that, was a, that was a screen there. Yeah, quick and screen. Except, uh, who is that? That is number 10, uh, Jaden Jones. Nice. Quick beat there by Jaden. Jaden's nifty. You know, he's nifty. He's, got some, he's also got some uh, a good base. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It was a broken play. Dropped yeah. the ball. Quick oh, thrown out to Jaden. Made a few people miss. He, just, he did a good job of just catching the ball. He kept the ball. He kept it alive. Got upfield. He worked his way from uh, east to west and got his way upfield. Good for him. That was a good play. Cranford right. show and blitz. Hola Remy. Nice. He's throwing that over the back shoulder there, but a little bit too, too outside to the sideline. The receiver was intended, uh, was number seven, Antoine Godfrey. I uh, was a little little out of his grasp. So uh, Colonial will line up for the punt. And we saw a lot last week, Kyle, of uh, Josh Prophet. He was running all over oh, the yeah. field. So I, I would anticipate that would happen. All right, we have number 21. Um, that's Luke Infante from uh, from Cranford back deep. The they went back. for it. They went for that punt, and they got a piece of it. There was no uh, roughing the kicker or anything. They must have gotten a piece of that punt. Yep, and uh, that was number 46. We talked about the big fella, Kevin Keogh, six foot, 220 pound senior, took a chance at returning that, but got some positive yards. So they're kind of right back where they were, Kyle. Yeah, you know, field position is going to be important all during this game here because uh, you don't want to get behind on these hurry-up type of offenses. You want to make them work the whole field. Absolutely. They got a new quarterback. Um, Shane Van Dam is in. Uh, Cranford has been known to um, rotate their quarterbacks. That was whoa, number 14. Whoa. We saw a lot of him against, uh, that was Lamont Hampton. Uh, I'm sorry, not Lamont Hampton, Jake, Jake Chapman. Chapman yep. Jake Chapman, mm -hmm. I keep looking at the Colonial roster. Um, yeah, we saw a lot of him in uh, the Kennedy game. Keeper, doesn't, doesn't go too far. And that was Shane Van Dam on that one. Van Dam is 6'3", 180, definitely has the height. And he's a junior. Up one on a play, it'll be second and nine. Ball at the Patriot 15. That's uh, Marcus Johnson, number 22 on that carry. Brought down by our boy, uh, Jermaine Ellis. All right. So, good start. Boy, I'm looking at Cranford's uh, number 58. Holy mackerel, that's a big boy. That's Matt Fries, 6'5", 275 pounds. There's a lot of big bodies out there. <laughs> yeah. quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. All right, and they're going for the pass here. Pass. And yeah. Nice pop. And he just, that is a nice uh, hit there. That was number three, uh, Joshua Loremi. So we got a quarterback that can yeah. let you have it from uh, the defensive side, too. That was a pop. That That's a great hit. His cousin was a great uh, cornerback, uh, Joshua um, Tenny Adewusi. Oh. Yeah. We're going to take a look at this. A well-executed play. Yeah, he was open. 
But uh, it was a good read and a great tackle. Got his head to the side yep. and just timed it perfectly. Absolutely. So they're going to kick this one here. Okay, so they are lined up on the 19-yard line. So this will be a 29-yard kick. If I remember from that Kennedy game, this kick was pretty accurate. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get his number there. Ooh, very good. Uh, we had a lot of uh, leg on that one. And that was number 30. Uh, Dier Dutaga. That's, I, I didn't want to attempt that name, so yeah. I, I let you do it. Dier you know? Dutaga. Yeah. Five foot nine, 160, and he had a lot Man, of leg. I think 150 of that is in his in left his leg. leg. Yeah. <laughs> he really nailed that one. So early on with 545 in the first quarter, Cranford scores first. Uh, with their hurry up offense and uh, you have Councilman Kyle Anderson, myself, Greg Ficarra with you tonight and the great crew from TV 35 on Mischief Night. And we got a, I don't know if it's a full moon, but it's a pretty creepy moon. It was that, yeah, the one from like uh, the Peanuts uh, with yeah. the great pumpkin or whatever. You know, the there's, a, there's a cloud straight across. If yeah. that moon pops out, we're going to ask our 30, t TV 35 guys to get a Absolutely. shot of it. Just right to out of put you in the mood. Yeah. And, you know, Greg, we were talking about field position right there. That field goal doesn't happen. If, if they get that punt off uh, and, and get it downfield, now they're talking more midfield. And if they have that stop, then, then uh, this, this kid's not in field uh, position to make that field yeah, goal. That's a very good point. Field position sometimes is such a key factor in the game, especially when teams are evenly uh, matched. You can't let the ball drop on a kickoff. You got to, even if you take a step back, there's got to be communication. Now you got now you're back on the 15-yard uh, line. Yeah. You know the the player uh, that was in the line in front of them didn't want to take a step back. Sometimes they're told not to take a step back, but in that case, the the uh, return man behind him has to get up there behind him and communicate and, and let him know he's got it. Absolutely. Uh, let me just take a look here um, for Cranford, number 77. Kevin Schreiner's out there uh, on defense now, 6'2", 280. Hokey smokey. Those are some big fellas. Yeah, I was out. being generous when I said 6'2", 250. They're some big boys. Yeah. Colonia spread out, single back, shotgun. Hand off on a little cross, like right. maybe a little counter. Nicely done. Yep. That was number six, and that was your guy Josh Prophet that you were talking about. That yep. uh, 5'11", 190, that's a good size for a running back from uh, Colonia. Absolutely. Colonia's got some uh, long, long history of great, great running backs. And I saw Massimino out on that, uh, leading the block there. Massimino Revizzo. So you have number four, Jake uh, uh, Siensen out wide right. All right, got a, got some momentum here. About a yard or two short and shy of the first, and that was Josh Prophet. He was the workhorse last week, Kyle, as I said. So. He's scrappy. We got a typical fall night tonight. You can tell we're getting close to uh, Halloween, boy, because there's a chill in the air. Yeah, I don't want to jinx us and say at least there's no wind, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. And thank goodness the rain stopped from earlier today because it was coming down. Yeah, absolutely, but that's not going to prevent me from putting my gloves on. <laughs> well, I'm sure Maritza left you with some instructions to uh, dress warm. Yeah. And it looks like Josh Prophet muscled ahead and got that first down. There he goes. That's what we want to see. That was some nice blocking up front by the big boys. Let's take a look at that again. That was number six on the tackle. Uh, Luke, Luca Limieri. And number 66, Jermaine Ellis. We called, we called his name a few times. He was responsible for that big hole in there. Good job. Massimino doing a nice job, number 62. And here comes Profit again. Nice little jab step and gets upfield for about five yards. Uh, brought down by number 31, Nathan Caldwell, 5'7", 165, senior. Uh, there was a penalty against the Patriots. Yeah, let's take a look. I, it's going to be hard. They're calling a, uh, a chop block or blocking below the waist. Oh, might be right there. You know, sometimes the defender just turns around and then it looks like it was hitting behind the back. And 
it just works out that way. You can tell the temperature is uh, cooling off because you can see the uh, the steam when the guys are breathing out oh, there, yeah. particularly on the Colonia side. I hope that doesn't mean they're huffing and puffing. Oh, no. There's that moon right there out there. It it's almost a full oh, moon. Oh, yeah. It's close. Motion. Jaden Jones. And the pass is complete and gets up close to the 40-yard line. Who is that? Number Antoine, seven. Yeah, Godfrey. Antoine Godfrey, number All seven. All right, nice catch. He's a senior, 5'9", 145. He got out there and nice nice throw from uh, Ola Remy on that one. Yep. Yep. We'll have to watch that play again. Nice protection up front. Yeah, good touch on that pass. Yeah, yep. You could that he put it in the only spot he could put it right really there. Did. Perfect. All right, take a look at that moon. That's a creepy, creepy moon. Yeah. <laughs> so that was uh, Josh Prophet on that carry. Uh, picked up a few yards. It leaves third and three. Colin McBride up front blocking on that play. He had a nice, uh, good block on that. So we're live on Facebook tonight. We're also on TV 35, and we're on Cranford's cable channel too as well, right? I think we're just being shipped over there. I don't know if it's through Facebook. I'm not sure, but we like you people in Cranford. We're just rooting for Colonia. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like they were changing the play now. Colonia. All right. Straight drop back. Yeah. So that's your basic stick route. And that was again to number seven, Curtis Charles. Uh, All right. Antoine, number seven. Oh, number saying? seven. Yeah. Ah, I'm looking at the wrong roster. Yeah, yeah. That's Antoine Godfrey, my fault, buddy. Yep. That was a great route and great delivery. And that was a good call. Yeah. You know, uh, you just run a basic stick route. If they're giving you that kind of cushion, just take it, take them downfield, and Turn right back, the ball should be there. Nice blocking up front. Big number 77, Steve Miller. Giving Olivari some time. Flag. There's a flag on the play and loss anyway. Yeah, Godfrey uh, in motion. They didn't get anything. Yeah, I think I think there's probably two people moving at the same time. Somebody else besides the motion back. So, I'd probably decline that if I'm the head coach from Cranford on that one. It's still first down. So I guess they, they yeah, motion, and they yep, declined and it. they declined Good it. call, Kyle. Hey. So we got 50 seconds left in the first quarter as a little bit of a miss settles in over the uh, Colonia High School field that the kids call the C. You can see it a little bit down towards uh, the back of the Cranford defense. There's a little, little mist out there if you look yeah. up into the lights. It's like when you go down to uh, Rutgers Stadium and they shoot that cannon off. Right? Oh, yeah, right, right. Speaking of Rutgers, who do they got? Indiana this week. Indiana, so. what a great win against uh, Michigan State last week. There goes Oloremi. Oloremi up the middle for about two, two yards. Oloremi, Working his way back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's nice to see Colonia on the other side of the uh, 50 right now. Yeah, good work. Looks like we got a timeout on the field. Yeah, oh, no, the quarter, down. the quarter, the quarter. That was a fast out. quarter. Yeah, it sure was. You know, there were a lot of a lot of runs in that, Kyle, and the passes, I think they stayed in, so, in, in bounds, and yeah. the clock just keeps moving. It you just know? moves, that's right. But yeah, we were. I was talking to um, to Annie Serrano, who does the video up there before the game. It, it, it's strange times, Kyle. I mean, you're you're the leader of Middlesex County education. I mean, have, we've never seen anything. This COVID regulations and restrictions, and now there's a a little bit of a a rise again in some of the cases. And I, I just the, the the kids, the teachers, the everybody, the principals, the superintendents, my wife, vice principal, I better say that. Yeah. The principals, uh, they're just so resilient in, in making this work. And, and it, it's just amazing to me how. I couldn't agree more. Having two 13-year-olds uh, that are um, working remotely, uh, seeing the teachers uh, just 
captivate them and keep them interested in their subject. My, my boys are constantly communicating from the hours of uh, 7.45 in the morning until about 1.30, 2 o'clock about their studies. And, and uh, you know, they come down, they talk to talk to their mom about it because everybody's working from home right now. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it, there's a lot that uh, needs to be said about our teachers, our educators out there that are working with these students and keeping them involved. And especially the athletic coaches here, they're trying to get some kind of season out. Yeah. My, my son today, he's coaching uh, for Scotch Plains. Their game was canceled because because Lyndon had a, a, a player have come down oh, with COVID. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's the second time that happened yeah. with them. All right, here we go. Colonia with the ball. We're changing fields now. Well, Remy's rolling right, looking. To, kind of throws it away. And uh, he extended that play, I think, as oh, long as he could, looking for somebody to get open and yeah. then did the right thing. And they're not going to let him turn the corner. Um, they know what kind of an athlete he is. Um, so they're just going to stretch him, you know, to the sideline. And, uh, you know, I, I think if we see him in the open field, it's going to be a problem for the Cranford Cougars. Absolutely. Now, they came in hard last time. I don't know if um, Colonia made any um, adjustments on their punt team, but let's see if we can get this one off. We got everybody up. They came in fast again. Oh, that's a flag. Yeah, yeah that's He a went flag. for it. And, oh, and a fumble. Yep, turned up, declined a penalty yeah. and take oh, the yeah. fumble. Yeah, absolutely All right. It kicked a little bit of a knuckleball, and plus it's wet out there, so you never know if the ball was slick. Yeah, but who was that that picked that up? Number 60. Yeah. And we have that as Colin McBride. Right, and the the, uh, the punter was uh, number 11, Patrick Miller, and his brother is, the, is uh, number 77, the big fella. Um, Stephen Miller, <laughs> you you got a punter and and your then your brother six foot six foot seven three hundred and fifteen pounds. Well, you know it's nothing better than having a brother that size up there protecting you. Yeah, you know? absolutely. All right, so they they got some life here and. Um, has a good opportunity. Let's see if they can put it together. Sure. Nice to see a, a number 60 getting downfield so quickly. Yeah. You know? Yep. And there he is. He's out on the offensive line. I wonder if he was the center because the centers are allowed to release on the snap. Everybody else has to wait until the punt they hear, besides yeah. the, uh, the outside guys. Right. Well, that's a good effort for him. Fake to uh, Jones and Ola Remy nowhere to go. Backwards. Yeah. So that's number 50 and number 35. Matthew from, uh, Coates from Cranford is number 50. And 35 is number, uh, is, is Shane Canterman, 5'10", 185, sophomore. All right, so now they, they've lost a little yardage. Let's go trips right, trips right, 501 bond. What? So we got a little, here we go. Got three receivers to the top of the field. And just one here on the closest to the sideline, the Colonia sideline. Quick, got flags. Blown. Cranford jumped. Yeah, Cranford jumped. Oh, really? yeah. They were really anticipating it. I, I would think um, Coach Rourke is going to have to go a couple of hard counts just to keep them honest. Yeah, yeah, they're really team, team, and they're uh, coming in, boy. They're blitzing. Illegal procedure against the Patriots. Whoa. Oh, wow. I thought that that was offsides. Clearly, I thought that was offsides on, uh, on Cranford. Wow, that's just two plays that. Cranford declines it. It'll bring up third. Third down. No, 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 no. 18 for the Patriots. Let's go. Third and 18. Had that little series there at the end of the first quarter where Profit was running and they seemed to be clicking and have some momentum have going. Momentum, yeah. But on this play, after that great fumble recovery on the punt, they, they're going backwards. And they haven't really taken a shot downfield yet as far as a pass. I think right now is one where you're going to have to see that. Oh, Deflected. Pass is batted. It might have been by. Uh, now, now this is the, the territory where you got to go for it. You don't. You don't want to punt this one. Uh, looks like they're going to send in the punt team anyway. But you know. Yeah. Let's let's uh, we're, let's look at that play again. It was set up nicely. Looks like it might be number 38. Yep. That blocks that. Number 38 is Nicholas Labrera for Cranford. Nice job showing some real athletic talent there. Getting up. Knocking yeah. that ball down. That was intended for Jones, and Jones was open on that play too. 
Nicholas is 5'10", right. 205 pounds. That's so it. they wanted to pooch that one, and uh, they got a little bit of a Colonia roll, so they get him inside the 20. Coach Rorty's yeah, playing the uh, strategy of the field position. We'll see if uh, Cranford continues with that, that hurry up. They're on the line, and it doesn't even look like all the Colonial players are on the field. Yeah. You've got to be ready against these types of teams. And, and Cranford, uh, I, I can imagine what their camp was like. I'm sure that there was some serious conditioning. Yeah, if you're going to run that kind of... Very effective, very effective when you can do that. That's Di Marino. And, Big game. Uh, he comes through, makes a few moves. He makes people miss. Yeah. You know, it's funny when you watch him run, he's not that flashy, but he just picks his holes and, yeah. and he's got that massive line in front of him that does a great job of creating gaps. He does. Oh, they just, they just switched. Luca Lamera is in the slot position there, I believe, number six. That was the give, and that was to number, I, I believe, it looks like 22, Marcus Johnson. Brought down by number nine, Chris Waldron, the captain. They're right back on the ball. Here Nothing. goes Johnson again. He's brought down very quickly at the line of scrimmage. Who was that? Uh, I cannot see. I want to see. Yeah, let's get a, we're going to take a look at that and get a number on who made the tackle. That was number 28. 28. Uh, 28 is. I don't have a 28. Drop back, drop back. No, be complete. Pass is incomplete. We do not have a number 28. We'll wait until they call it above. See if we can get him, uh, get his name on there. I wonder if it was 26 that made that tackle. Is there a 20? No, there's no 26 no. either. Defense, defense. We want the All right, big third down here. They're down in about seven. Johnson nice again, but he's uh, jammed up. I see number 10, Jaden Jones is in there, and uh, number 57. Jonathan Diaz. And uh, Jermaine Ellis was in there, 66, too. There was a, a host of guys. This is a big play here, third down for Cranford. Fourth and five now. Fourth and five. Yep, and uh, Colonia did a good job of stopping him there. And uh oh, we got to You got to watch that rugby. That may, you remember they, they pulled the fake. Oh, geez. Oh. Get away. 57 was very close to the ball. Yeah, uh, coaches behind us are yelling out poison, and that's sign to get the heck out of the way. Okay. Is down the good job, good job, good job. Nice job by the Patriots defense there uh, with 8.13 to, to go in the first half. First it's, a, it's a battle. We've got a battle here. This is 3-0, uh, and uh, Colonia is very much in this game. If they can get a, a series where they can uh, move those sticks a few times, um, you know, you never know. Yep. Because Ola Ramey can throw that ball. Yeah, he's got good poise back there for sure. Oh, we got oh. oh, he reversed. Uh, Josh Proffitt reverses, but still nothing there. Yes, the somebody came right through, right on the defender. Profit on it, Gary. They're not really having a lot of success on their um, their, their jet sweeps or uh, some of their counters. Second and ten, ball at the Patriot twenty-five. Second down and ten. All right, and 38 was coming in. Quick pass, but uh, got away from Ola Remy. Cranford is very active inside. They're, they they send somebody almost on every play, Kyle. 
Well, they're daring you to pass the ball downfield. They want to see what you have, cause, so they're jamming everybody up in the box, and they're going to they're gonna send somebody every play. Hey, these lights are a nice touch, aren't they? And we are, like, really, like, in high-tech world. Yeah. For an old guy like me, I need lights so I can read. <laughs> All right. Twins right for Colonia and side motion, slide motion. Ola Remy drops back. Yeah, see, they're walking Ola up Remy. number 38, Nicholas uh, Liberia. Right. And he, uh, he, he, he comes from the outside. The last play, he came from the inside. That's your strong safety. And uh, he's, just, he's causing the uh, running back to pick him up. And uh, they're shooting from the inside. Do you think that play was a design quarterback draw, or was that just a broken play? No, I think it was a broken play on that one. He's coming. Wow, no. they're coming. They must have saw something in the film because they come hard. Wow, what good field position here. Yeah, they're getting the ball on their own 39-yard line, on, on the 39-yard line of Colonia. And so far, it's been, a, it's been a game of field position, and up until this point, nobody's been able to convert. Um, let's hope the Colonia defense can continue to be as strong as they've been playing, but you're, that's asking a lot, you yeah. know, every, every series. 6.44 to go in the first half. Here we are on uh, Friday night, Mischief Night 2020, and probably 2020 has been a pretty scary year so far. Yeah. So there goes uh, number 14, and that is Jake Chapman. Goes off the left side and uh, picks up about nine yards. Yep, close to a first down. That's a good start for Cranford. Looks like uh, Shane Van, is Shane Van Dam now the quarterback with number four? Yes, he is. There's a fumble, and uh, looks like Cranford uh, picked it back up again. Yeah, I think it was Shane. I think, oh, no. Maybe, yeah, yeah no, you're right. Yeah. Van Dam. Van Dam. All uh, right, here we go. Let's take a look at it again. Bust up the middle, and you see the ball pop out. Quads, quads, quads. Yep, yep, there, there it is. is. And then, like they came in, that was uh, big number 66 for Colonia. That was Jermaine Ellis, I believe, that caused that fumble. Nice Chapman job, on Jermaine. The, on the carry on that one and uh, brought down by number four, uh, Jake Siensen. Ivan Quillis. Thank you. Ivan Quillis is number 28, and uh, he was the unidentified player. So we want to give him credit for that tackle that he had before. Yeah! Nice, nice pop. Right nice there. pop. Who's that? That's there. Jermaine. Jermaine Ellis. We've called that name. That All was right. a that was a hit right there, boy. That's when you know you ran into a telephone pole. Six three three ten. Here's Jermaine Ellis. Watch this on the replay. Comes up. Boom. Sheds his block first. What a beautiful play. Jermaine is also very quick off the ball. Yeah! All right, that ball was good job, Jake! Thrown into the ground, and Jake Prophet, uh, Josh Prophet, came in very hard. It'll be third and 11 for the Cougars. Excellent defense by well, Colonia once team. again, Kyle. Quads. What's up, P? Hey, we just got We just got to get the ball on the other side of the 50. Let's get another stop here. Uh, timeout. Cranford. And they still had, Cranford still had uh, Van Dam in a quarterback. They exchanged those quarterbacks pretty freely. Very like, quickly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they, they both do different things. And, um, you know, when you, you see Di Marino in there, he usually runs some type of uh, quarterback keeper from uh, in between the tackles. Absolutely. You know, he doesn't really go out wide, but, you know, when he gets in there in between the tackles, he follows his blockers. The, uh, that hurry-up offense that they run not only requires the, uh, the physical stamina that you pointed out, but the mental stamina. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you gotta, you got to always stay on your game and know you're going to get right up there. And it works against the mental stamina of the other team. You yeah. know? So the defense, uh, defense is looking for a break or uh, some kind of a breather, and they're not getting it. Absolutely. So sometimes you have to do, like, teams do some things tactfully. They hold on to the guy when he's on the pile, slow them oh, down yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You have to do some of that, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like your choice of words, tactfully. <laughs> All right, here we go. Third down and 11, maybe. Single running back. And, and there he goes. Quarterback draw. 
Ah. No, that was Van Dam. So Van Dam's been the person who's uh, the quarterback that's been throwing. So when he, well, they called Dean Marino on that. No. Number four, that was, was that Dean Marino? No, no, yeah, number four. Number four. That was four. Let's go. Got to go. Here's Van Dam again. Hands that off to number 15, Max Spinner. Haven't called that name too much yet, but they got the first down. It's a good play for Max. Hey, we're in big trouble if, if the uh, announcer has to listen to us for the correct names. Straight hand. Oh, nice Jake play. Jake Chapman on the carry, but does not get far. Who do we got there? 57. All right, that is Jonathan Diaz. All right. Nice play by Jonathan. 6'3", 245. Pass, pass. Ooh. Pass in the, in the ground. Van Dam had time on that. I, I don't know. You know, he, he seemed to rush it, but he, he didn't have to. Yeah, I think he saw his receiver open very quickly, but uh, he would just gotten the ball in his hands. Pass, pass, pass. Here again, he winds up. Nice throw, but oh boy, that would have been a pick six by Ola Remy. Yeah, that was a nice play. He, he, he got, got one hand there. on the ball, could not get the other one up there, but let's see what a great can, play. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, we're going to look at this play again. Watch the watch the way that uh, he gets up, Ola Remy. Throws that quick. Boom. Wow, he gets feet. the one hand. Wow. Big defense, big defense. Two on, two off. All right, fourth down, they're going, what are we doing here? Oh, they're going for it. Yep. Van oh, no, 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 they're lining up for a kick. Here it is. Van Dam uh, is in the game as the holder. It's a little bit, uh, this is going to be on a little bit of an angle. It's not straight and, on. Yeah, it's on the left hash, and it's on a 24-yard line. So a 34-yard kick from the left hash, but he's a lefty kicker. So if he gets that natural hook, yep. uh, we'll see. He's been, he's been a problem. And let's see. And oh, so. hit the post and it bounced the back. Nice. Well, there's your uh, 12th man right there for the Colonia Patriots defense is the yeah. goal post. Excellent job by Colonia defense right there. Once again, they yeah. are just keeping them in the game. They sure are. They really are. A lot of credit to those guys out there because uh, right now they could be down two scores. Absolutely. That's a credit. That's a credit to them. Leave uh Ryan Don Diego is the defensive coordinator. Oh. Good job. Good job by the defense. They, I know our coaches behind us. We can hear how uh, how excited they are for the play. Why is he out of the game? A lot of players for Colonia going both ways. I see a lot, yeah. especially the big boys. I do see number 64 out there. Frank Maloney. Yeah, they look like there was a little confusion. Yeah, and, and you mentioned, you know, a lot of players going both ways. When you're playing a team that's in the hurry-up offense and then you have the, the big guys that are, you know, jumping off the field and then coming right back on for the uh, O-line, that uh, in the fourth quarter, legs get tired. Yeah, it could, it could weigh you down. Absolutely. So let's hope they put some some points up so they can get a little healthy lead here. Absolutely. The, it looks like the uh, color guard down by the scoreboard is uh, warming up for the halftime performance. Coach Rarity talking to the team. Got the Colonia cheerleaders out here in their varsity jackets. Yep, absolutely. Led by uh, Coach Andrea Simkovich. Colonia, well known for their cheer squads throughout the years, right? Even going back to my day, they mm -hmm. were always yeah. well respected. Oh, yeah, lots of trophies in the hallway. Yeah, Coach uh, Shemicki, right? Yes. She yeah. was the coach back in those days. She serves on the Hall of Fame. I think she's like the vice chair of our Hall of Fame committee. Oh, yeah. She's like a walking encyclopedia as far as uh, Colonia history. Yeah, she keeps Dr. Nick in, in line, too. Not easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. Play resuming. Colonia with the ball. First and 10, down around their 20-yard line. And they choose to pass the ball. Good protection, puts it up there. Ola Remy. Oh, who was the intended receiver on that one? That Sam looks is. like number 11, Patrick Miller. 
All right, we're going to take a look at that again. He really launched that, baby. He put it up there. He's under pressure. And Miller had a chance. He had a chance. The ball was over his... There it is. At the, yeah. Uh, you have one hand on it. Not an easy... Uh, Good coverage by the defender. Yeah. Years ago, you had to make a play for the ball. Yeah. He looked like he was screening him. He looked like he just wanted to say, I didn't hit him. I didn't yeah. touch him. <laughs> and we got a little... There we go. Let's counter. get back to nice that. Play. There we go. Yep. Gosh, prop. Yes, sir. That's a name we called a lot last week. All right. Watch a little inside handoff. Comes right across. Nice block there. Breaks a tackle. Comes up. Number 14, Lamont Hampton made the, uh, I'm sorry. No, that's uh, Jake Chapman who we've called on offense for Cranford. He was the one that made a tackle. Yep, and number 10, Jaden Jones, did a nice job of getting out there and leading on a block. It's good to see those uh, fast guys getting out and blocking once in a while. Same play to the other side, Kyle, but that didn't fool Cranford that time. Not at all, not at all. That was number 46 in on that tackle, and that's Kevin Keogh. Now they're faced with a fourth down, and it looks like they're gonna punt the ball. Got to get a good punt here. Really need to get the ball up by the 50. We know they have a good kicker. See if they go after him again. Oh, oh, something uh, offsides. I don't know if that was, uh, yep, offsides. Legal Number 11, Patrick Miller back in that punt position. We talked about Patrick and his big brother. Uh, big number 77, Stephen Miller. Must be interesting at dinner time around that their house. I think <laughs> mom and dad are right to our left over here. We were chatting with them last Is that week. right? Yeah. Now he's back even further. Gee, it's on the five yard line. Boy, that left, 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 left. Okay. 54 does a good job of getting in there. So fair catch by number 21, Luke Infante. Michael, An I'm, I'm sorry, Kyle. Michael Anzalone, number 54 for Cranford. Every time we punt the ball, he, he's blowing into the personal protectors right and there. almost knocking them back to the punter. And every now and then you're gonna you're gonna get a rough in the um, kicker, but you know more often than not you're gonna force that guy to rush. Yeah. Yep. All right. So they're in their own territory again, uh, and 2:41, plenty of time. And what quarterback do we have in there? We still got Van Dam in there, or is no? Steve this Marino? is De Marino. Okay. Okay. And there he goes. De Marino does what he does. He goes right up the middle. This one, nothing there. Jermaine Ellis. There he is. Boy, we've been calling Surprise. his name a lot. Uh, Jermaine is very quick off the ball for his size. He he, he beats his man to the spot. Messino Revituso also in there, number 62. We've called Messino's name a few times. And that's Jake Chapman around the right side. Brought down by number 62 for the Patriots. And that is a Messino Rivuzzo. Yes. Rivuzzo. As De Marino around the left side. Yeah! Third down. Yeah! Big pop. Boy, you heard that up here. Yep, that was a nice stop of short of the first. There we go. We got a replay of this. You watch them picking and picking. You give a lot of credit to the end. You know, we tell those ends all the time. Outside containment, right? Yep. You want to go upfield north. You want to force that play either outside and or force them upfield, one or the other. Yeah. We've got a player down. Thought I saw number nine, Chris Walden, in on that nice play. Since we got a timeout, uh, well, maybe we can see that replay one more time. That was such a nice defensive, uh, nice defensive play. Got an in We've got an injured player on the field right now. We, we hope that he. Yeah, he's getting up. That was De Marino. He's getting up. Good. Good Here's, to know. Yeah. Watch this play again. Very no, yep, different play, but a nice Marino. job. You hear the uh, applause going for the injured player. 
But the end makes that play. He doesn't make the tackle, right. but he makes the play. Yes, yes. Because he steers it. Yeah. He contained the play, allowed the rest of the players to catch up, and then yeah. there was a wall in there. So, yeah, the absolutely. I remember coaching defensive ends, Kyle, and we I was talking to John John Masklin, who was a defensive end for me at Perth Amboy. We always used to say, never let anybody get your outside that's, arm. That's right. That's keep all that, you get. Just don't let free. anybody get your outside yeah. arm, and you'll be all right. All right, we got, they're going. It's fourth down in a short yard, half a yard. And they're back in the shotgun. They're going to, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. He, gets he got first. it and then some. Kind of uh, just popped out of the center there. No. They got to they gotta move fast, though, because well, we got a timeout. Timeout. Now, Kyle, if I think, think to this, that last uh, uh, field goal attempt that hit the post, if I'm Cranford and I'm thinking about potentially another field goal, I would be moving the ball more towards the right hash mark. Yeah, or, or centering it. Yeah. You know? Yep. I think we saw that. Was it a Jets game one time when uh, they, they were – Fighting to, to get the ball into the center of the field, and I think they ended up fumbling it or yeah. something like that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because they were in field goal range, and, and uh, they were just trying to get it off of the hash. You know, speaking of not necessarily the Jets, even though I'm a, a Jet fan, I'm Didn't sorry. Didn't mean to bring up any yeah, uh, yeah. You know, but it, sore the, subject. The NFL now, it's like a skill to knock the ball out of the out of the receiver or running back's hands. Oh, it is. Do you remember? I don't remember ever having no. that ability. The only one that I, you know, I think who like almost started that was probably Lawrence Taylor with when he would come up and he would tackle and he'd come down really hard yeah. with like an ax hammer right. uh, on the uh, running back's uh, right shoulder. Absolutely. Absolutely. But and now you, they come up from behind and underneath. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And you can tell they practice that. Oh, it's not just a coincidence. Yeah. All right. They got the line stacked up there. And they're going downfield. Oh. Uh, oh, boy. That was too easy. Ooh, yep. Missed tackle. All right, hopefully we can get a get a look at that. It looked like a nicely set up play. And that was number 10, uh, Zion Hammond, that scored that touchdown. So they had like a clear out with the uh, outside receivers, and then they sent him across the middle. It was a nice effort there. Yeah, Tested made an effort for him, but couldn't get to him. And a nice throw by the quarterback, number four, Van Dam, on that one. We hope Dean Marino's okay. I think he's up on the sidelines. And you knew that was going to be money. Yeah. So, you know, 10 points, Kyle, doesn't doesn't sound like a lot. But the way Colony has been struggling on offense, it's uh, it's it is a lot. It's, it's a significant. Yeah, a significant lead right now. They've got to um, they've got to show that they can get some momentum and get some, uh, you know, move move the yard markers down the field. Absolutely. And, and you know, watching the game and seeing the tremendous effort that the uh, Colonia defense is putting forth. Uh, it's just it's it's tough to see them down by ten. Yeah, because you don't know how off how many times you're going to be able to keep coming back with that resiliency. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you got a minute here. Anything can happen. Oh yeah. So what are you dressing up as tomorrow? Uh, whatever Maritza tells me. I'm not exactly. <laughs> I, I, I know. I saw her putting stuff out. You know, our grandkids are coming. We got the little guy that's yeah. nine months. And weren't course, you Batman last year or something? Or? So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you came to the uh, came to the um, uh, town hall. Oh yeah. Up with your grandchildren. Yes. That was yeah. great. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Maritza was Wonder Woman. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, tomorrow's the last day of the uh, farmers market. Speaking of town hall. Ah, uh, yeah. Oof. All right, that's a that's a tough spot. Kick. Uh, only gets out to the 25, so they've got 53 seconds to uh, try to get into some kind of scoring position. It's a tough tough task right now. They were just so close, you know. If they, it's a big difference going in down by three than down by ten. You yeah. Know, and they were so close right there. Well-thrown pass by Van Dam, uh, you know, great effort by Colonia, but just... Uh, yeah, it's just that straw. It's yep. That last straw where it just breaks your back, where you're just saying we've been holding them all game, and uh, you don't like to let that last 
touchdown go at late in the late in half like that. Yep, you got Josh Prophet here in the slot. Let's keep an eye on him because he's a playmaker. And stringing that jet sweep out. Yep. Nothing going there. There's a whole host of players in there. Jane Jones was leading that. I, you know, I, I saw him throwing a good block, but there was just so many Cranford players in there. You can only take, you know, so many down Absolutely. at a time. Well, again, they're going to string those plays out, let you run out of sideline. Eventually, you're going to have to turn up field. So Colony is going to let this clock run down. They don't want to go into the... Uh, Take any chances. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that's like a, a typical uh, uh, football picture right there. The players all around and the steam coming out when they're yeah. breathing. And, oh, yeah. So there you have it, folks. As the clock winds down, the first half, uh, Cranford is up 10 to nothing. Uh, we'll see if Colonia can regroup, come back in the second half. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second half. Cranford visiting our Colonial Patriots. They're up 10 nothing right now. And, Kyle, we talked a little bit about it just towards the end of the half. Uh, Colonial's defense was holding strong there until that last series, and, and that was a real uh, backbreaker, that, that beautiful pass by Van Dam. Uh, and now 10, 10 points, we were saying, normally is not – insurmountable, but it feels like a lot of points in this game. It's a lot to come back from because uh, Colonia just hasn't been consistent on offense, you know. They completed uh, one pass, I believe, and um, they've had a few nice runs from uh, Josh uh, Prophet. Um, you know, defensively, we called Jermaine Ellis out a lot, you know, so he was really, you know, jamming up the middle. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just the momentum just seems to be in favor of uh, Cranford Cougars right now. Absolutely. And we're going to see on the quarterback side for Cranford, Di Marino was injured, uh, and Van Dam finished up this, the uh, first half. So we'll get a look at that. Uh, we didn't have any opportunity to hear about anything else in the uh, the big central conference. We know Woodbridge has a big game there. I think they're playing Persephone Hills or something. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I another, wonder who they were playing I think tonight. they're I did not get that. two okay. undefeated teams. Okay. Yep, two All right. undefeated teams. And Woodbridge is coming off of having a number of players that were, that were out injured. Um, Isaiah Allen. We also had the Bradley Twins. Uh, Isaiah Jackson. Um, so, let's see if they're, if they're all healthy. I, I'd give Woodbridge a... Uh, uh, a shot against anybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The absolutely. kickoff is interesting here. They like to kick it to that corner of the sideline to take away your reach. And, yeah. and every time the guys run up, they don't realize that. Um, oh. It's really frustrating oh. that they did not pick up on that. They, they Every time they kick off, it goes they're to kicking that to that yeah. little corner. And you've got to bring one guy up short because they hook it right to that corner. And they've done that already twice on us. Yeah. Yeah, it's and almost they, like they're they, using a sideline as an extra uh, you, man. You are 100% right, yeah. and you're using that, and you're eliminating the return. Yeah. So you're causing them, and you almost have to create a return from that side. You can't try to run back because if you do, you try to run back to the center, you're gonna they're going to get you because they have the angle of pursuit. Yep, absolutely. Well, here we go, start of the, uh, the second half. Cloning with the ball deep deep here with their backs to the goal line. Yeah, and this is what we preached all uh, first half was the field position. So they've got to get a good start here. Coming okay, they got him. They got him. All right. Nice play. Yeah. Yeah. That is a great one to Jake uh, Ciencin. Very nice. Oh, had him right off the route. And... That's what they need to do to, to get those Here's backers another, to drop back. Another look, look at, at the play. Perfect. Great double move. Nicely thrown oh, ball, man. too. There was something they must have seen at halftime, and uh, they got to keep them on their heels. They had good pass protection. Nice, All right. Nice there we go. Here. Four yards for – there we go. This is what they need to come out. Game of four on the play. It'll be second and six. And see, they were doing better when, when, um, when Ola Remy was rolling out. It was tough for him, but on that play, he stayed in the pocket, released it very quickly. Yep, that was and good pass protection up front. Oh, Just dropped straight great. back, like three-step Absolutely. drop, and fired the ball. Cranford bringing the house here. All right, so he's going to take it around a corner. Gets about three yards. It's third and three. Forced out of bounds by Cranford's number 50, Matthew Coates. Matt Coates is one of the uh, team captains for Cranford. So we got third down and about four for the Patriots, and they're across the 50 yard line. So Colonia's really come out the right way. This is the right way to come out of the locker room. Let's see what they do on play number three. Great cut up field. I like that. Good job, Josh. And he gets the first down. That was a great second effort by Prophet. Yeah. He saw his hole, took it right away, did not wait. Dolphin. 
Hey, we just got a shout out from uh, Councilman Corey Spiller. He's listening to us on Facebook. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. What's up, man? And Connor's watching. Hey, Connor. Home nice and toasty, I bet. <laughs> Inside handoff. Oh. So that was uh, Lamont Hampton running parallel to the uh, line of scrimmage but wasn't able to get upfield. Yeah, he's, he's a quick, he's a scat back boy. He, we, I've seen him last week too moving, but he didn't get much room there. I like the way, you know, right now when they were mixing it up with the, um, you know, a nice run with profit, then come back to the pass, keep those linebackers on their heels. All right, some discussion going on here. Holding against the Patriots. Oof, that hurts. Ah, that hurts. Not a good penalty. Nope. Everyone here to hold it. It'll be second right. and 20. Second and 20. And the little fog coming in here again down at the end zone towards the scoreboard. You can see it in the lights. So we've got to get the, um, the box on the field right. That says first down. But, uh, you know, right now I, I would honestly go for some type of a draw play. Yeah. Oh, man. Ah, what Jeez. a jump they got. All right. There you go. Next best Good thing. play. Yep. There we go. Quick hitting play. There we go. Something. We're back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 11. Uh, third and 12. Looks like. I think that's number 38. Uh, Nicholas Labrera is that, that outside linebacker that just, he's so fast. He seems like he's off sides. Yeah. He comes in every single time. And. You got to go with a hard count to draw them off sides every now and then. I'm seeing that they're going on one almost every single play. Yeah. They're off sides. Your end's off sides. It's off sides. So, not happening. much doing yeah. there. And that was 38. You just called him, called him out. Yep. Uh, Nicholas Labrera. Nicholas is uh, timing the play, and he's really got a nose for the football. That play was stuffed for for a loss. So we got fourth down on the um, on the scoreboard, but third down on the uh, I think it's, it's third down. All right. So scoreboard just got changed. Yep. Third down and 14. Come on, Josh. Let's see what you got. There's a push in the back. He doesn't. Huh? All right. No, nope, hit the ground. Officials calling it down. Oh, yeah. Pass is incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. All right. The number 31 for Cranford, Nathan Caldwell was in on that play. Did a good job. Pat Miller in to kick. Number 11, Pat Miller back to kick. See if Cranford uh, comes after him. They've been coming in all game. And they've got to, you know, they're waiting for that one bad snap. That's a high snap again. Miller gets off a knuckleball type of a kick, and that was the one that, you know, made him fumble the last time. But yep. That was a great effort by Miller just to get that kick off. He, he, he really he, did because it was a high snap. He gets it off and got, got a good leg on it. So they're, they're starting off around their 26-yard line. So right now we're back to uh, Shane Van Dam at quarterback. Uh, we'll, we'll wait to see if uh, Di Marino comes back in. He took a nice little shot before the uh, half. And he hands that off to Marcus Johnson who is off to the races. Gets pushed out of bounds. Number 20, Mike Testa ran him down. That was a, it was a good effort there by Michael. And Mike, Michael, we, we were just chatting with his mom there at halftime, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's proud of him. And uh, Michael, I, I tell you what, he was a soccer player for a long time. Played football for a little while, came back as a soccer player, but really showing he belongs out there, that's for sure. Nice play there. It looked like number nine, Chris Walden. I read the number correctly. And here's this, this up-tempo offense where they're right on the line of scrimmage. 
Well, with the Patriots 38 yard line. This is where Colonia has traditionally tightened up on defense. Let's see how they do it. That's a keeper by uh, Shane Van Dam. That was a very good fake by Van Dam because I followed the, I thought he handed the ball off. I, I followed uh, initially uh, and then uh, we're going to watch that play again. It's a tremendous fake. He wrote it in that. there and then yeah. kept the ball. Very nice play by our number six, Profit. Oh. Wow. Van Dam rifled that one in there and uh, it was a great catch by uh, number, number 17 oh, actually. 17, you get better yeah. eyes than me. Yep. That's uh, Jack Conley. Called his name for the first time, 5'10", 170 junior. Motion. And there goes Johnson. Very strong back. Brought down by Testa. Very nice job by Touchdown Michael Touchdown saving. Big Jermaine Ellis hustling downfield to get in on that play, but Michael Tested did a nice job of bringing that, yeah. saving that touchdown. Johnson is, is uh, listed at 5'7", 165, but he looks more compact than that, you know? Ooh, All right, nice number 14 gets brought down. Jake Chapman gets brought down from shoulder high, and it's a fumble. Wow. And the Patriots take over. That is a big play for the Patriots right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Looks like we got an injured player down on the field, though. One of ours. Timeout for an injury on the field. Yep, let's take a look at that. See if we can find out who grabs that, makes that nice play. Number four, that is Jake Siensen. Jake Siensen, nice who play. we've been calling his name a few times yeah. today. That was a great play to shake that ball loose and uh, see if we can see who got it. Nice job in there. Profit was in too. Got an injured player down now. You don't like to see that, but a little yeah. big play. Once again, the uh, the Patriot defense comes up big. I think, I think Siensen uh, on that play got hurt. You know, right now here you, we're we're at this football field, pretty lively group, and uh, there's Siensen getting up, and that is a great looking, uh, uh, great look to know that he's walking off on his own. Yep, Don. Um, but he made a great play to shake that ball loose. That's uh, Coach Tr's probably uh, telling him, "Hey, man, you know, go over there, rest up, but we're going to need you." Yep. We never like to see yep. uh, Doctor see the trader. Yeah, we don't like to see Doctor Swan on the field, but it's good to see Doctor Swan. Always uh, is. He's our uh, team doc for for all three of the uh, Woodbridge Township schools and, and a couple other schools in uh, Middlesex County. Orthopedic First surgeons going to be opening up an office in Avenel. Right in Avenel, man. Yeah. It's great to have an orthopedic surgeon right here. These kids won't have have far to go for uh, for their checkups. All right. Colonia has the ball. That's the good news. The bad news is they're deep in their hole there. So Ola Remy. Oh, he kept his balance. And he's off to the races. Let's see. They're not going to call it. The, the coaches are calling for the horse collar. They got the back of the jersey. I think they were probably thinking he got his hand inside the shoulder pads. Um, but it was a great run. We'll Kept it. his balance here. Look at this. Watch it again. Wow. Great job right there. Great athletic move. And he's off to the races. They, one player had the angle on him. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah, that was the shirt. Not, not quite the um, yep. horse collar, but, you know. Luke Infante. I, I would have yelled for it myself if I was coaching out here. Sure. Luke Infante for Cranford's the guy that broke uh, Oliveri down. But that was a, what an athletic move, just staying on his feet. Yeah. Uh, he brought down. They're they're coming with two backers every play. Yeah. And they're 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 taking on one one to one. And I mean, if you run a cross route, you're gonna you're gonna find an opening there. Yep. Um, For uh, Cranford, that was number 46, Kevin Keo, who is one of the team captains for Cranford. That was a loss of, uh, my goodness, of five yards, if not more. They're walking their backers up, and they come in. 46 is coming in every play. Um, All right, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, third down. 
Jake Siensen's back in the game, number four. Like so it's good that. to see him. Six, 11. Number 11, Patrick Miller is out. Patrick doing a little work in there. Here comes the blitz. That's a, oh, what a great catch. Wow, I, I, All I'm saying is that's a tough one. Yeah. And he had two defenders, and Sienza comes in from being hurt, and what a perfectly placed ball. It was on his right shoulder, and he hauls it in for the catch. Here it comes again. Let's take a look at it. Nice blocking up front by the offensive line, and that ball was Look at in. that. That's two. Two defenders yep. and pl places it right in there perfectly. That's the only place that ball could go. It could right. have been per placed better. And a great job by the offensive line up front. Josh Prophet off tackle left. Just keep moving the ball north. All right, the play is in for Colonia. Second and about nine yards in scoring position. Here comes that pressure. Come on, get outside, get outside, get rid of the ball. Good job. Good job. Very right. poised, very poised. That's important. Third down. Oh, they, they're trying to say now. One of the one of the um, referees was pointing at number seven as a receiver, but now uh, I think they're throwing it down. Let's see if we could uh, get a look at that if we have an opportunity. Take a look at that play. A, yeah, Let's you don't see. want that. It's a loss of down. Come on, Rob. So he's 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 telling his man to go downfield. Uh, not close enough to him, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't see, didn't see a blue shirt over there. So that's a tough call. It certainly hurts. Yeah. Terrible call. The fans not happy with it, but uh, on the replay there, it's kind of hard to see anybody, anybody nearby. All right, Colonia back on the ball. Scoreboard hasn't been set yet. It's third down and a whole lot. You know Cranford's going to be bringing the house on this now. Ah. Come on, throw the flare! Already taken down in the backfield. And there's a flag right now after the play, so it's going to be a dead ball, probably a sportsmanship issue or something there. There's a flag on the play. And it's against Cranford, so that's got to be unsportsmanlike, I'm assuming. Where's our little chart? I didn't even see it. Ball, personal foul. Yep, Sportsman personal Mike. foul. That's so that'll that'll give him gain some yardage back. I think that's a 15 yarder. Yep, yep. They still got about another 25 yards to go, but uh, every little bit helps right now. Yep, yep. All right, let's see if Colonia can take advantage. Oh, it's, what, what down is it, though, Kyle? Is it fourth down? Yes, it's it fourth down. It is fourth down. Yeah, oh, boy. So this is, again, like I said earlier in the game, but uh, Coach TR at that point was playing um, – Field position, but now you know this is this is the kind of land where you can take a shot. See what happens. Ah, uh, almost picked off. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was, was well covered. Yeah, two guys there, well covered. That was certainly intended for Antoine Godfrey, but uh, Cranford was there with two people covering. So the yeah, let's just take another look at this. Pretty good coverage up front. Gets good block. Might have been a little hold there. A little there, bit but, there. Yeah, we don't Boy, they, it's good good coverage there. Yeah. The Cranford defender. It looked like zone deep man under. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 
Let's see what uh, Cranford comes out with. Touch, touch. Oh boy. Well, he's running hard on that one. Uh, that was Chapman, number 14. We called his name a few times today. And brought down by number 12, Tyrese St. John. This is where. Yeah, they. You know, Cranford's got a couple of backs that they can throw at you, and they've got fresh legs. Yep. So you got Marcus Johnson, you got uh, Jake Chapman, then you get your your quarterbacks that that also can run. Speaking of which, we haven't seen um, De Marino back in yet. No. So I, I, you know, I don't know if that's a sign that uh, he's gonna he's getting a break. Yeah, they're just giving. Hopefully, they're just giving him a rest. Yeah. It goes Chapman on a jet sweep. You got to string that out, but he turns it upfield. If you can't, if you let him turn it upfield, he's going to get that kind of a gain. And here they, and, and you see them, they're set up after a big game. They're going right on that line of right scrimmage. The they're line. ready to go. And, Absolutely. And, and you can see the two plays ago, I don't even think Colonia was set on defense and the play was off. Yeah, and you, I mean, the chains are barely set, and these guys are ready to get up there again. Good play right there. Looked like it was uh, Josh Prophet. Josh Prophet. He, he laid a stick, and Johnson's getting up a little slow on that one. Gain a one on the play, second and nine. I don't even think it was one. Looks like more like a half yard. Cranford continuing with that hurry up offense. He, wow. He got rid of it at the right time. See, uh, Siensen was, Siensen was blitzing and, and uh, gave uh, Chapman a nice stick at the end. But yep, let's take a look at that again. Or Van Dam, yeah, gave Van Dam a stick on that one. Ah, he wasn't even blitzing; he just came. Yeah, through. he fought off his block. That's a hold. All right, nice that's uh, number nine, Waldron. Uh, Chris Waldron, the captain, Johnson comes in again, and makes a nice tackle there. No gain on the play. It'll be fourth down. And they're going, they're going for on fourth down. They seemed that they had a play in mind because they, gosh, they players didn't even look. Van Zam throws it, gets rid of it too quickly, and the Colonial defense holds again. Yeah. So here we are, nine seconds left in the third quarter, and the defense is really giving their offense a chance to, to, to try to get something here. Um, you know, they're not in bad field position. Um, but uh, they came up again, and, and uh, the Cougar, Cougars came up empty. Yep. And I tell you though, you can look. You see, you see, uh, Jermaine Ellis there is leaning over, trying to get some air. Uh, you know that hurry up offense, and these guys playing on both sides of the ball. As we move into the fourth quarter, it's going to be a factor. He's walking to the line. I mean, he's he's carrying a lot. He's carrying a big load around, and uh, let's see, uh, he's going uh, 320. All right. I mean, that, that's a credit to him, but, you know, the other guys on the other side of the ball, they're coming in with some fresh legs. Good, Good pass. Quick, quick nice quick delivery. Yep. Gets up maybe about three yards on that one. Nicely done. Oh, oh we got an injury. Big guy. Miller is down. Oh, we don't want to see that. No. Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, this quick like a little quick, I don't know if it's a quick stream or just a quick out. No, it's just a quick, yep, yeah, stick yeah. route there, right there, you know. Now it's to Jaden Jones. Nice job by Jaden. Uh, Steve Miller still down. You can hear a pin drop here. Trio right. Yeah, you don't like to see your right tackle Flex. ever go down. No. Any any of your players go down, Flex but left. you know that's a that's a huge uh, deficit on the line without him there. Yep. But he's he's moving up and he's getting up quickly. Let's see if he walks off on his own, own pressure. He's got a nasty limp, but I think he's gonna walk that pain off and probably see him probably see him in again. He certainly is a big, look, he dwarfs Dr. Swan. Look at Dr. He looks like Dr. Swan's a. Uh, check that, yeah. check that, Billy, Billy. Flex left, rip, 127. All right, and that was the end of the quarter. So we're now in the fourth quarter. Score remains 10 to nothing. 
Colonia came out in the, in the start of the half showing some life offensively. We thought they were going to turn the corner. Defensively, they're certainly the, – the defense is keeping them in the game. Absolutely. The funny thing, Kyle, is, is we're talking about it like it's two separate units, but there's so many of these players playing on both sides of the ball. It really is. And, and the Cranford Cougars have a bend but don't break type of attitude on their defense. They'll give up a big play occasionally, but they tighten it up once you get in that red zone. Yeah. Ola Remy puts uh, number 10, Jaden Jones, in motion. So he was looking for a little room. Prior to that play, I was about to say, I think the answer in their play is Ola Remy. They've, he's the one player, I think, that can, if he can get him outside the pocket, after seeing that run that he had, he could definitely outrun some of these players. Um, Profit's getting those nice tackles, but they all seem to have an angle on them. Colonia looking to the sideline for the call. And we now have a uh, third down in about seven yards. See what the Patriots do. Ola Remy gets the ball, quick throw. Ah. It's a little bit, little bit on the outside. His intended receiver was Anthony Antoine uh, Godfrey. And now you're faced with a fourth down. Yeah. Going to bring in Miller to punt the ball. I'd like to see them um, take that route and go upfield with it. You know, just give a little, little yeah, jab yeah. pump and yep. then take off yeah, upfield. Really, because Ola Remy certainly has the strength. He does. And you're not going to, you know, you, you're at the point in the game right now where you got to start throwing the ball downfield. Here comes the kick. Woof. And there's the penalty marker. He ran into the kicker. So I don't know. Do they do a uh, a 15? Holy mackerel! Yeah, a lot of uh, I think some players knew that there was a marker on the field because they really weren't going after him that hard. You know. Boy, out of out of all of the punts that we've seen with Miller, Miller's got whacked a few times. That looked like the lightest hit. Yeah. But yet that was the. It, look, sure. Can we take a look again at the punt here? Uh, we take a good look and see where that hit is. Maybe I just missed it. There's Miller. Yeah, that, uh, uh, that good was, acting, too. Yeah. He, he, he ran into his leg while it was up, so I guess you get running into the kicker, so I don't know if he's going to give him the full 15. Um, doesn't look like he's going to give him the roughing the kicker. Yeah, I think they're discussing that right now. While that punt was going on, Big Steve, uh, number 77, uh, Miller, the other Miller, uh, was running on the sideline for Dr. Swan. He's got his helmet on, so let's see what happens. Good sign. Good sign. 10.56 here in the fourth quarter with Cranford up to, by 10 points, and Colonia just not giving up. They're just fighting. you got to admire their determination. And we're, we're trying to find out. There's a lot of discussion going on with the officials, which is never good. No. no. But hopefully they'll get it right, whatever right is. And you're giving them a first down on this one. All right. Officials coming over and explaining it to Coach Rarty. And I don't hear too much yelling from them. Don't see too much yelling from the Cranford sideline, so they must know that... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the yard markers get set, but I see the referee, the head referee, giving the first down sign. Yeah, if they're going to give him a first down, that ball's got to be moved up a little bit. Yeah, and the sticks have to move up, but it doesn't look like it. They're giving him another, oh, they gave him a running into the kicker, so it's a five-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. Oh, I got you. So right now, you uh, know. Okay, good call. Yeah. Good, good catch. Oh. Uh, good catch. And they're running a player off the field. Miller back to punt. No pressure. That oh, time. no. What and the happened? ball went straight up. Hey, got a, got a Colonia bounce. Yeah. Least. You know, it's funny, Kyle. Out of all the punts we've seen, Miller's kicked that ball under so much pressure. That time he had no pressure. <laughs> he had no pressure. Maybe he was expecting it. Yeah. Know? Yeah, I think he was even surprised himself. Go, let's go, tell him to go. All 
All right, big Jermaine Ellis out there. You know he's huffing and puffing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pass, pass, pass. And they're going Starts right up top. Pass. Oh, when they got him. They got him. Wow. He's right there. Oh, dropping and the he bucket. fell right into the end zone. No, they got him down on the two yard line. It looked like he came across the. Uh... Let's take a look at that because I, I, you know, I'm not trying to give him anything, but. Nice play, beautiful throw. He had He's a running, boom. Nope, referee made a great play, great yeah. call on that one. That was yeah, uh, uh, Arjun Petgrave for Cranford, who did, must have run a good route because he was wide open. I was looking at him earlier, six foot three, lined up on the outside, and I go, when are they going to throw it to this one? Yeah. <laughs> Looked like there might have been motion on that play. And there goes Jermaine. Nothing doing. He owns it. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. He comes up big. We'll take a look at this play again. Watch big number 66 right oh, there. Nobody blocked him on Boom. that one. Boom. Nobody blocked him. That's a big mistake. Yeah. That's a big mistake <laughs> yeah. leaving that guy open. Same play, other Here way. Johnson to the outside, runs to the corner. And it's just a foot race. Is that 22? No, that was number 14, Chapman. Yep. So that's where, uh, you know, you see the, the tired legs of Colonia right now. And he just took advantage of all the room in the field. He just raced to the that's race it. to the flag. And the score now 13 nothing with the extra point about to be attempted. And that's Dier Datuga. And it's good. So that extends the lead to 14 nothing. It should be 17. Uh, it should be 17. Yeah, 17. Right. 17. There you go. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a look at the uh, touchdown play again. Good blocking up front by Cranford right up in the front. Yep. Nicely done. Jab step by uh, Chapman. And just out races them to the, to the corner. It's quick. He's quick. Number 14, Chapman. He's quick. And that's where you see when you're tired. You can, you know, you could still... Offer some uh, resistance if you run up the middle, but uh, when they beat him to the outside like that, so easy, you could tell that there's some tired legs out there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, that, and they, we talked about it in the early part of the game. This is the time of the game when that hurry up offense just begins to wear you down. It does, it really does. And especially when you're, you know, the, the big guys up front. Now, this is where, again, Bring your corner, one right return. Here, right. Bring your 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 left return man up to the 15-yard line because that's where the ball is going to land. Same spot. Yep. And there, this one didn't even go out of bounds, but you end up picking it up there, and that's what he forces you to do. He forces you to run back to the center of the field. So it's an excellent kick. I mean, he literally placed that. I know I can't do that on a golf yeah, course. Yeah. Well, know? he's done it every time. <laughs> he's done it every time. That is a well-perfected play that, you know, you've pointed out to it early, but it, every every kickoff has it's been that It's a nightmare way. for a return man. Being a return man myself, I can't stand when they don't kick it to you. Yeah. You know, but you know what? The This is the philosophy of, of a very good special teams coach. They put their best athletes back there. Why are you going to kick it to them? Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. There's the big boys. It's good to see uh, Miller back in the game. Big number yeah, 77. It's absolutely. a good sign. All right, the Patriots are getting set with 924. Time is of the essence now. Got to get something going. Nice slant oh. to Jones. Does not get uh, caught. And uh, he takes a, a nasty shot right afterwards. But, uh, you know, that's that's the cost of uh, not, not holding middle. on to it. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a cost of crossing <laughs> the middle. And then if you're going to, you know, you're going to get hit, you got to hold on to yeah, it. Yeah, you might as well catch it. It yep. feels better. That's right. Yeah. Jaden will feel that one in the morning. It was a little bit on his back shoulder, a just bit. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it so wasn't an easy one. Second down. 
Uh, his, his head went up. The coaches were calling for the face mask, but they didn't get the call. No, and the the only thing you can say about that is both officials, the back judge and the line judge, were right there. Yeah. You know, so. So his head might have gone up, but it might have been from something else. Yep, let's look at it. Boy, it would be nice to see that, and here we are. Here we go. Get a better look. So he got, oh, oh yes, he did. Now the referees that. were right. No, the coaches were right on that one. Yeah, turned his head. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh they, they called, called it late. Yeah. yeah. Yep, they okay. called it late. Okay, All good. Right. They didn't need us to go down there and correct them. I, you know, I thought maybe the refs uh, had, had the advantage of replay themselves on the field. Great job by the TV uh, 35 crew on that replay, picking that up. Well, Remy's rolling out right and uh, throws a dart, but it doesn't get caught. But another penalty because uh, it looks like the defender got there early. Yep. Jake Siensen on that catch. That was a great play. Yeah. I think right now also because they're, they're you know, they need to see Ola Remy take off with one just to, just to get those, um, those guys to play honest. Miller's back out of the game here. So uh, whatever he has there must have slowed him down a little bit. Yeah. That penalty helped Coloni out. Let's see if they can capitalize now. 8.53, we're under nine minutes. Down by 17, which as we've said, we've said uh, 10 points was a lot, 17. Quick nice pass, pass to Jones. Jones is fighting it off. They're trying to bring him down, but he, like I said, he's got a nice lower cen center of gravity. Uh, number six, uh, that's Luca Limieri, uh, Limiera. Sorry, folks. Uh, Luca Limiera um, on the tackle on that one. Boy, Jones uh, shows a lot of poise for, for a freshman there. Yeah, you know, he's Jones has been a, uh, a special athlete from age of five, from what I remember. So. He's very calm under that situation. I saw a lot of him in basketball this summer, and uh, he's going to be a, a great athlete to watch over the next few years. Olivar back, plenty of time. Yeah, and he completes it. So this is like a, you know, first series where they've completed a couple of plays, and then they've also got a, a couple of penalties to work to their, yeah. to their favor. And a nice, uh, the play calling, there's a nice mix. Yeah. Uh, Antoine Goffrey really went down low to get that ball. That was a great athletic move by him. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, yeah. I'm going to take there a look at this play again. A nice little, blocking up front. Just a little front. flat pass there, and then uh, the turn button hook. Uh, Chris Walden, number nine, did a nice job of blocking on that play. He thumbs picked up, up the blitz. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Holy mackerel. Ah, uh, boy. Threw it a little too much to the center of the field. He had him, had him by a step, but he's got to throw that to his outside shoulder. That would have been a big throw to do that, though. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that, that number 38, Nicholas Labrera, he, he just gets off the line of scrimmage like a shot. I mean, he's, yeah. he's in on every play. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like he's being uh, slingshot right into the backfield. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's what, you know, a good defense coordinator is going to say. They got a quarterback. Let's get in his face thumbs every up, single thumbs play. Up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We got trips to our side of the field here. A little overthrown. Yeah, threw the ball a little high. Intended for Godfrey, incomplete, bringing up third down and 10. All right, so we got a third down and 10 with 7.24 to go in the game. This is where I'd like to see that pump fake to that. To like that and then go you know, long. And then yeah. take, it, take it up field and see what we can do. You know, a good hard pump fake. Otherwise, you know, I'd like to see Ola Remy like take off around the left side and just, just turn it up field. Three scores right now is uh, seems like a lot, lot to ask. Yeah, but it's got to start here. It's got to start somewhere. There he goes. He's rolling around the left side, but he's being chased. Uh, that, that was what I had in mind. That you know, see him get around that left side, but 
think I would I would think run first for them for him on that one. Yep, that uh, was forced by number 31 Nathan Caldwell for Cranford, doing a nice job. That's always hard though, Kyle. If you're you were right-handed and rolling out to your left, it, you got to throw across it, your body. It right? really is. So um, you know that's where I'm thinking run first. You know, uh, and the only reason I was saying left was because the, the ball was on the right hash at the time. Yeah. Siensen back in the game. And uh, Jaden Jones out wide. And the Twins, we had Twins on both sides. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. 38 coming in very quickly. And there he goes. That's what, that's what I've been saying. For He's the guy you got to get the ball. There it is. Yes, perfect. That's what we've been waiting for. Right I want to see him with the ball going. Right up the middle. Oh, Remy. Takes it for a 30, what, 31-yard uh, touchdown? Yep, right there. Let's see if we can see that one again. That was a great play. Yeah. All right, we're going to get the extra point, and then our TV35 crew is going to give us that uh, replay so we can see a great read. Kyle's been calling for that little, uh, that little quarterback draw, I guess, more or less. Miller's out for the extra point. His first, uh, first attempt at it today, right? Yeah. And does he get it through? Yeah, it looked like yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Okay. That's nice to see them get on the uh, board. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check and see if we can see that uh, so you touchdown. Can, you know, he wasn't going to throw this. You could tell right away. Boom! Plant and take off. Yep. Right so up to that middle. was that was a design play, and. Uh, Whatever routes they ran underneath, it cleared out the linebackers. And, and he really avoided a lot of players on that. Yeah. I mean, he, he really zigged and zagged once he got into that end zone. Yeah. But he's, he's the one guy that can get past that defense. And, you know, it, it's at six foot two, 180 pounds with that speed that he has. I mean, he could Absolutely. lower the shoulder, too. Yeah. So. yeah. so, you know, let's hope we can uh, either get an onside kick or get him in a, a quick four and out. And uh, and do something, make them think. You know, you got to make them think that uh, you could do that on every play. Absolutely. <laughs> so it looks like an onside kick is uh, coming. And Cranford's just got their regular guys out there. Yeah, he kicked out that a little yeah. too hard. Yep. You know. Kick goes out of bounds. Right on the play. That gives them the ball in pretty good field position. While we're exchanging and uh, Cranford comes back out on the ball, let's give a shout out to our wonderful TV 35. Okay. We're going to take a look at the replay before I do the shout out. There's a voice in my ear that tells me these things. Yeah, that was a line drive kick. Uh, you you want that to, you know, if you kick that down on the ground, right. you get that little hop yep. and uh, gives you, your, uh, your team a little chance to get up on it. If you're going to kick it that hard, you want it to be a line drive off somebody's chest. Yeah, that too. Yeah. All right, Cranford with the ball. Here's uh, Johnson looking for running room. They stretched him out. Let's see if they get the... Uh, Wow, he made something the, uh, out of nothing. Yeah, you get your teammates to come over and help out. So he got his two yards. Johnson is quick. He's a quick quick runner there. Yeah, real spark plug. A little built like a fire hydrant. Yep. So you have second down and about eight. All right, got to hit him right away. Wow. Okay. What, so, you what know. a surprise, number 66, Jermaine now, Harris. This is a time where I'm surprised that um, that they're getting right on the line of scrimmage, you know? Yep. Uh, we're going to watch that one again. Jermaine Ellis. Big Jermaine. Yeah, man. He, he, he cleared a couple of people out to get there. He did a great job. And they're up, and they got the quarterback and sacked him. Now, now I'm, if I'm the offensive coordinator for, for Cranford, all right, there's a penalty, late penalty, and you hate to see that right now. All right, we're going to take a look at that again. I saw Profit in on that. Here comes Profit right here. Pushes his man back. Doesn't quite get the um, Van Dam. Yep, great second then, effort uh, there. That was a great there's play. Our, there's our guy, uh, Siensen. Yep. Nice. And, and Profit, Profit made that play. 
Nice job. So we'll so. Ah, that is a backbreaker. Yeah, that hurts. And TR, Coach TR is out there. He wants an explanation. And I, I, I don't blame him. You know, your defense just gave probably the best defensive series all game. And, you know, this is what I didn't understand, but they're getting new life. Cranford's uh, offensive, you know, it's a, it's a up-tempo offense, but right now I'd be trying to take the, you know, slow it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Walk to the line of scrimmage, you know. Great job. So, Poloni is playing really well, but right now they should be on the offensive side of the ball. Five minutes and 40 seconds left. Somebody looks like they're hurt out there. I thought they got down a little yeah. slow. Official timeout. That's uh, Jermaine Ellis getting up a little slow there. Yep. Man, you don't want him hurt. He's no, no. He's so, just the anchor. Yep. He's limping a little bit. We got a timeout. It's a, a good opportunity now to give a shout out to our TV35 crew on the camera. We got Will Rubiano, Emil Brandalfi, Stephen Quetchen. On the graphics, Jessica Beretta. Replay, my man Joe Fernandez. Engineer Bruno Martins. Technical director, the lovely Gina Forbes. And of course, the man, the leader, the director, Lee Beckerman. Thank you to the crew do doing an outstanding job out here. And I hope you're all dressed warm. Oh, yeah. They direct us very well. Uh, and um, we really appreciate it. And I know the community appreciates TV35. We're going to take a look at that last play. And they close oh, that gap boy. in there. Yeah. Jermaine just gobbled them up on that play. Right. But you know, uh, also I think Josh, took, right, yeah. right? Prophet was in on it too. Yeah, I don't. If I, I wouldn't run As there. Jermaine. Fake. Van Dam takes it up the middle. Third down and four. Who's off? Ivan. But this is this play is going to go down into four minutes. Jermaine just came off the field here. He's still limping. What happened? Uh, offsides on them? Yeah. This flag on this side came in a little late. Yep. I think they had two guys moving. You'd expect that in a, in a hurry up offense that it would happen more often, but they've only had maybe one or two of those calls all game for them. Yeah. Yeah, it gets down to the, the physical and mental discipline we talked about earlier in the game. They really they really have a Yeah! Yeah! All right, and uh Colonia sacks Van Dam. Good job in there. Fourth down. And a timeout is called. All right, let's take a look at that again. I saw Siensen in there, number four. Oh, nice play uh, right uh, there. That's Jaden Jones. Yeah, Jaden did right, a nice Jayden. job. Good pop on there. Yeah, put his shoulder down and uh, dragged him down. Got slid down to his ankles and uh, made sure he brought him down. Looks like uh, Jermaine is holding his uh, left shoulder a little bit, or uh, left arm. And he's tired. He's really gashed. You see yeah. him over on the sideline. And he's just, uh, he, you know, 320 pounds, both sides of the ball, all game long in this cold temperature. I tell you what, I, my hat's off to him. Yep, absolutely. So with 438 to go, down by 10. And we got what, fourth and fourth and 16 for Cranford? All right, we've got the punt team in. And now, gonna... You also got to be careful because they like to run that rugby style and uh, they want to catch you setting up your return and he'll, he'll take off with it. Yep. Yeah, he's back and they're sliding over. Here he goes. Oh, he gets the kick. It's a, it's a short kick, but placed inside the 20. So long way to go for Colonia. Let's see if they could, uh, Olivari can make some things happen with the offense there. 
Oh, it's Ola Remy. Ola Remy, Ola I'm Remy. sorry. Ola That's Remy. all right. Vars, a player I had in Perth Amboy. Ola there we Vars. go. Ola Remy. We're going to have to see who goes, goes out because it looks like 77. Miller's not going back in on offense. No, no, he's got Jer something going on with his leg. Jermaine is back in. That's good to see. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go with 4.27 to go. Down by 10. Patriots with the ball. Ola Remy doing his count. There's an inside blitz. Ola Remy's looking. Not much, not much there. Oh, be careful. Yeah. You admire that second effort, boy, but when they got you by your ankles, that's when injuries yeah. happen. Yeah. He's the last. We don't want anybody to get injured, but certainly not him. We'll take a look at this again. It came with an inside blitz through the yeah. A-gap. That was a 38 who's been causing problems all day, Liberia. Yep. Labrera, my yeah, bad. Labrera. Labrera. He's been causing problems all day. He just gets off the ball. There he goes again. Yep. You know, we mentioned LT, and not to say, you know, to compare him to a I Hall of Famer. I was just thinking the same thing. But you know how LT was allowed to roam all just over the field? Blow up the, blow up the play. Is. Blow yep. up the play. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I was just thinking the same thing. It's almost like he has no responsibility. No. Just blow up the play. Yeah. Just look at the formation, what they line up. He's probably been schooled as far as where the strength of their formation is and just go where he thinks he can make a play from there. Oh, almost oh, a great, great play. Attempt. Great attempt yeah. by Jaden on that one. Jaden left his feet just a little too soon for that one, and uh, so he didn't catch it at the height of his jump. We're going to take a look at that again. Yeah, just, just notice that. He just that. jumped a little early on that one. Ah. Yep. Man. Great attempt, but, boy, he got up there. You said he plays basketball, Jaden? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, great great guard, great point guard. So we'll we'll get to see him. I'm sure he'll probably get some JV or maybe even some varsity action this year on basketball. There's a fourth and five. This is, the, this is the game right here. He got up. Nothing, and let's see if he gets a penalty marker. Nothing. No. That was thrown a little bit behind him. Yeah, and he was never really open on that play. Take another look at that play. Yeah, he stepped and released. You know, I was actually expecting the step, plant, and take off. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit behind him. He was, uh, Ola Remy was under some, some pretty good pressure there again. Our boy number 38 was in there. Nicholas Labrera. Didn't we have a commissioner of education named Labrera at some point? So yeah. That name sounds familiar yeah. to me. Yeah, absolutely. That's in your world. Yeah. We just had a new commissioner appointed, Alan, uh, Dr. Alan McMillan. Yeah, that's, that's great. There we go. Let's see. Nice play. All right. That's number six. Josh. Profit. Profit. Yep. Again. Nice job. Quick. Yeah, you know, you, you always have to wonder where he's at on that play. Here's Absolutely. the replay. Look at him. Josh was not getting fooled on that one. No, he's like a shot. He just just accelerates and gets upfield. Yeah. See, Tr when uh, my older son was playing, to number six for uh, for Kennedy uh, for uh, Colonia was Greg Jones, the yeah, great running back. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and sure. Greg is the all-time leading rusher here. So for me to see a, another back or, or just anybody wearing number six, and he's built and he literally looks like Greg from from up here. He looks like he could. Uh, uh, be a reincarnation to Craig. But, uh, you know, Greg was a special athlete, but he also played the same exact positions that Josh Prophet plays. And Josh is, let me tell you something, he's living up to that number. Yeah. Boy, is with 2.59 left in the game, it's definitely getting a little chilly out here. You know, I was just thinking, what is that vibrating on the, um, on the bench? And then I realized it was me shivering. <laughs> <laughs> We got a little little pause on the field right now. We used to always at the Giants games. We used to put a uh, little cardboard underneath our feet. Oh and, yeah. Uh, so it'd keep your feet from freezing, sitting on the, uh, the yeah. cold metal all game. Absolutely. You get cold feet, you're in trouble. Yeah. 
And there's there Van, uh, Van Dam, who first down picks up the first down. Yeah, you know he's really not had a lot of success in the last two series up the middle, but on that play right there, he dragged a few players. Yeah, yeah, he saw a little bit of an opening. Now they're a threat in the red zone here. And they're gonna they're gonna want to punch one in to try to put this game away. And it's, it is chilly, but a beautiful night for football here in Colonia. We got a, appears to be a full moon, maybe not completely yeah, full. And moon's uh, moved up a little bit since the beginning of the game. Yep, Halloween Eve, otherwise known as Mischief Night. Yeah, remember those nights. Mm -hmm. ShopRite was usually out of all the eggs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they were coming out there with uh, four wide receivers spread out pretty far. We've got a timeout. And again, thank you to the TV35 crew for, as always, doing an outstanding job. It's such a pleasure to be out uh, with you guys tonight and calling this game. And, and it's great that we could do um, Facebook Live for the since we're in a COVID situation and we have to have a socially distant um, uh, visitor, you know, visitors, bleachers, and home bleachers. Um, it's great that parents can be home, uh, or, or grandparents can watch your, their uh, grandsons and uh, granddaughters out there cheering. Um, watch them from Facebook Live. Absolutely, and that's that's a tribute again to the TV35 crew. The only the only problem for those people watching at home is they got to listen to us. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Colonia going back out now on defense. That that defensive crew did an outstanding job this game so far. Let's see if they still have another one in, in them. Yeah, they seem to really uh, tighten up when they get into that red zone, too. Yep, absolutely. There, oh, wow. Oh, what and guess who it is? <laughs> Jermaine again. Wow. Can Man. We, hopefully we can see that one again. I That was yeah. just a, he literally took him off of his feet. Yep, here, here it comes. Let's take a he look. He comes at right you. through. Oh, his own player. Yeah. His own player. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? But Jermaine caused that. Yeah. He just caused that just coming in and having that presence. And there might have been a little miscommunication, but 46 took his own player right off his feet. Yeah. We'll take it, though. Yeah. Know? And and it, it, as they say in baseball, after you get a, hit a little dribble, they go, hey, it's a line drive in the books, man. That's right. Somebody's getting credit for that tackle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and That's it might as well be Jermaine. Yeah. Here, going both ways all game. Nobody on that defense better get credit for that tackle other than him. Absolutely. There's... Well, Cranford is everything that we uh, that they've been coming in as uh, all that they're built up to be. Um, you know, we know that one team in our township took them down with the Woodbridge Barons. They're having a uh, top 20 rank uh, type of season. Um, be interesting to see how they did tonight against Parsippany Hills. And we got a fourth down and four, and they are going. Quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. Quarterback right up the middle. Doesn't, uh, he, he looks like the he line, might yeah. got that, yeah. And they hit him early, but he has a way of twisting and getting those extra yards, and plus he's a long frame, you know? Absolutely, and he, he reached out for that. He, he, and he runs tough, he, run, he r definitely runs tough. Yeah. 6'3", 180 pounds is... Uh, That's not... Yeah, listen, you know, when you're playing quarterback, and these days, quarterbacks are very, very athletic. They're not all just, uh, you know, backhanding the ball off or passing. These guys are running the ball, too. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go into victory formation. Yep. They're going to take two snaps. Boom. And uh, take it in. You know, tough game for Colonia. Yeah, I mean, obviously was. their their defense played extremely well. They they got they showed some some signs uh, offensively, especially early in the second half with that nice touchdown run by Olaremi. Yeah, he's right now he's probably besides uh, Profit the the most explosive uh, back that they have on the team. And it's just that I think coming into the game, most of the teams know it. Yeah. And uh, so you got to pick your opportunities. You can't do it with a mall game. I know I called for a mall game, and I'm sure the coaches over here at Colonial, they know 
you know, they know that he's the guy, but they got to pick their moments to get get the ball in his hands and get him upfield. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, we we knew coming in in that in the uh, the Big Central Conference that uh, Cranford was number seven or eight in there, and, yeah. and you know that's uh they played that way, and I'm sure they'll they'll go up go up in the rankings now. And Colonia's got nothing, as they say, to be uh, you know to be disappointed uh, other than not winning the game. But they played hard and they gave it their best, and it was a great game to call. So, again, for the TV 35 crew here tonight at Colonia High School Patriot Field, and my good friend and colleague Kyle Anderson, we'd like to say good night, and we'll see you again.